Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Question it says, A sister sells clothes. Some of these clothes don't match the Islamic clothing rule. They are sleeveless or short. Can she sell them with a disclaimer that she's not responsible if they are wearing around non-mahram? Because she plans on expanding the business online so she won't know who she's selling to. So these items of clothing, they are essentially items that can be used in halal and they can also be used in haram dependent upon the person buying it. One woman might buy an item of clothing and use it only for her husband. In this case, she's using this item of clothing for halal, this short or sleeveless clothing. Whereas another woman might buy that same item of clothing, yet use it in haram. She exposes it to non-mahram men. So it's the same item of clothing. It's been used in a permissible way in one situation. And it's been used in a non-permissible way in another situation. So these items of clothing, the asr, that they are mubah to sell. That you are allowed to sell these items. Unless you are certain or you are fairly sure that the buyer from you is going to use it in haram. So it's like the issue of selling grapes. The asr is that selling grapes is halal. But grapes can be used in halal and it can also be used in haram. Someone might buy grapes from you and eat it as it is. This is using the grapes in halal way. Whereas others might buy wine, might buy grapes from you and then use it to ferment wine from it. In this case, they've used the grapes in haram ways. Now, what's the base ruling when it comes to selling grapes? It's permissible. Unless you are certain or you are fairly sure, i.e. You, you have yaqeen, a ghalabat, one, that the person buying from you these grapes is going to use it in halal. In this situation, it won't be allowed for you to sell them that, those grapes. Likewise here in clothing, if you know or if you are fairly sure that the person is going to buy this item of clothing from you is going to use it in haram, then you don't sell it to them. And if you are unsure, or if you are not sure, or you are fairly certain that they will not use it in haram, then you can sell it to them. And if they, these people, they then go and use it for haram, then they will be held accountable and not you yourself. You can put a disclaimer, not a problem, right? Just to make things even further clearer. Not a problem, but the base ruling is that it is permissible to sell these items of clothing. Although you should have a important, uh, this is an important point to note, you should have a, a, a vague idea of your consumers, right? I have a local Islamic shop here, a uh, sister's clothing shop in my local area. And I know, I'm, I, 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 don't, I, don't, I don't know anything about that shop in terms of who runs it and whatever, but I know that the, the majority of consumers that go there are Muslimat, Muhajjabat. Since that is the case, when you sell these items of clothing to them, you can be fairly sure that they're not going to use it in, in haram, right? However, as the question that says, they're going to be expanding online. So when you go online, you don't know really. You don't know really who's going to buy your, your stuff. And so, what you should look at is the state of the country you are in, or the general state of affairs in the land that you are in, and so on, or in the region that you are in. And, uh, or, yani, uh, and see whether these women in your region tend to use these items of clothing for haram purposes or halal purposes. If it is that the vast majority of women use these items of clothing for haram purposes, then I wouldn't stock these items. Right? I wouldn't stock these specific items. Uh, and if you know that the vast majority of women in, in this region use these items of clothing but won't use it in haram, they use it in halal. For example, let's say if you're in the Gulf, for example, there are certain items of clothing when you're in the Gulf that you can be fairly sure that they won't be used outside in public where non mahram can see. Rather, they want to be used in, uh, in the presence of her husband only. In this situation, you can probably stock such items. But always uh, take, take, take caution. Take caution. And if there are alternative means of income and you don't need it, then why put yourself under the risk for many talk of Shuwahati for Kadistabra, Adi Dini, Wildi, Kayu, Allahu Adam.